हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अल्पेश दाफड़ा एंड इन दिस वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो क्लास ऑफ ए आई एम एल वी विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन टू आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग अलॉन्ग विथ पाइथन सो ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर वन लॉ एवरीथिंग इज देर इन द नेम सो ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद द नेम वेदर यू आर राइटिंग द आंसर अंडरस्टैंडिंग और एक्सप्लेनिंग सो हियर देर आर थ्री टर्म्स आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस मशीन लर्निंग एंड पाइथन फर्स्ट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस as the name suggest artificial means one that is man made see the intelligence that we all have is created by almighty god and if we are creating some intelligence that is man made intelligence it is called artificial intelligence and as the name suggest machine learning means the machine learns itself that means you need not teach or program the machine again and again based on the data that it has and based on different responses of algorithms it gets it keeps on learning and keeps on improving so that is called machine learning and remember this machine learning comes first and then comes the artificial intelligence and in fact it should be called machine learning and artificial intelligence because machine learning is the part of artificial intelligence and the artificial intelligence helps the machine to think itself without any human intervention and see this artificial intelligence is used nowadays everywhere for example automatic number plate recognition self driving cars face recognition recommendation systems chat gpt content creation automatic robots social media and everywhere and so we can say that artificial intelligence is the future of technology and its importance will continue to grow in the coming years the next term is python so python is a high level programming language which was invented by guido van rossum and he gave the name python because he was a fan of bbc's tv show monty python's flying circus so he gave name python as he thought that this name is short and mysterious so in this subject we will learn artificial intelligence and machine learning and also implement different algorithms in python programming language okay so let us start so artificial intelligence is like teaching computers to do things that usually only people can do so it's all about making computer systems smart enough to do tasks that need human like thinking like understanding language recognizing patterns or making decisions machine learning is like teaching computers to learn from examples or past experiences just like how we learn from doing things over and over again but the cool part is that we don't have to tell the computers exactly what to do after every situation it figures things out on its own and python is a type of computer language that is really flexible and easy to understand it's popular because it's simple to write and easy to read even for people who are new to coding let us understand artificial intelligence in more detail ai means computers to do things that need human like thinking like understanding words spotting patterns and deciding stuff ai uses lot of different methods like machine learning understanding language and seeing things like humans and ai's aim is to make computer systems that can look around learn from what they see and handle new stuff trying to be as smart as humans in different jobs next machine learning is a part of ai it is like teaching a machine by showing it lot of examples instead of telling it exactly what to do with machine learning computers learn from examples instead of showing strict instructions they figure out patterns in the examples and use them to make decisions or guesses and by practicing with lot of examples machine learning gets better at its job over time it can do things like spotting spam emails or recognizing objects in pictures now going little bit further we come across the third term deep learning which is further a part of machine learning so remember machine learning is the subset of artificial intelligence and deep learning is the subset of machine learning deep learning consists of artificial neural networks in the same way as we humans have neurons in our brain and as our human brain neurons learn over time similarly this artificial neural networks inside the deep learning will learn over time and make smart decisions which is called artificial intelligence and the most important point to remember is that the use of deep learning and machine learning is to make an artificial intelligence application okay let us understand with one example of tic tac toe game that we used to play in our school days so here artificial intelligence is the system or software that plays this game with you you make one move the another move will be made by the computer in machine learning it teaches algorithms to improve performance through data analysis as seen in refining moves in this game and in deep learning it employs complex neural networks to autonomously learn patterns from data enhancing decision making based on current game states let us understand with one more interesting example of songs recommendation system see artificial intelligence suggests 
songs by learning what we like what we listen to and then gives recommendation based on that for example if i open youtube music which all parameters it will consider while recommending me different songs so from my past history youtube knows that i like lata mangeshkar songs that to hindi bollywood songs and that to old songs so from a large database of songs it will recommend me few such songs other than the parameters mentioned it considers how frequently i have watched some particular song and based on that it will recommend me this song which i have watched many times so next parameter is how frequently i have watched the same song next based on popularity it may also suggest me this song because it has got many views so next parameter is popularity next it knows that i like songs by sd barman so it may recommend me this song so next parameter is the music director next from the movie which i have recently watched on youtube it may suggest me this song so movie watched recently is the next parameter next based on the mood of my past few watches it may suggest me this sentimental song so next parameter is based on mood next based on the season if it is monsoon season or if it is raining it may suggest me this song so next parameter is based on season next based on my current location i may be in some beautiful hill station of himalayas and it may suggest me this song so next parameter is based on location next based on the time if it is a full moon night it may suggest me this song so next parameter is time and based on data sharing of my other accounts like spotify amazon music etc it may suggest me this song because i might have listened this song so next parameter is based on other account so in this way it takes into account so many parameters for recommending any particular song and based on the recommendation if i watch any song then it will relearn from the pattern of my watching so this is known as deep learning and machine learning that is used by this artificial intelligence song recommendation system i hope it is clear and finally coming towards programming we'll be doing our programming using python programming language in google collab so collab means collaboration means one that involves two or more people working together for a special purpose for example some science project was a collaborative effort by all the children in the class collab is a hosted jupiter notebook service that requires no setup to use and provides free access to computing resources including gpus and tpus collab is especially well suited to machine learning data science and artificial intelligence and this google collab is just like jupiter notebook which is hosted by google and doesn't require any kind of python installation on our computer it just requires a google account and the internet connection it has many data science libraries installed and here we can write and execute python code directly inside the browser let us understand how to use google collab first of all open your google drive and make a new folder inside it i have already made here now right click in this folder go to more options click connect more apps inside the folder right click go to more and click google collaboratory so new notebook opens by default so we can add code to this program from here and from here we can add text also and after writing the code i can execute it from here so initially when you run this code it will take some time because it will be connecting to the server and once it is connected then it will execute very fast so we have the output that we wanted to print artificial intelligence and machine learning with python study with dr dafda and 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 and you can even add text from here so this is how you can use collab now if you already have some code then you can directly open it and run it So this program shows tic tac toe game where artificial intelligence will play with you. So that is all for this video class. You will find the link to download the PPT from the description box as well as the Python code is also given in the description box. Thank you very much.